Hey guys, Cody here, and today in this really f quick video, I'm going to show you how to make some cardboard corners for your paintings. Super fast, super easy. So let's head over. All right. So to make a cardboard corner, super easy. Um, literally, I will just do a four by a four inch piece, and normally I'll do it four by four, but since I've got some extra, I'll go ahead and just do this. Um, so we'll mark it at four and that's going to go all the way across. So that's going to be our cut and I'll mark it about halfway down because halfway is where the corner is going to, or that's where it's going to bend. So we cut our corner. Do, 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 do. Does not need to be perfect. Okay. Now another thing that I will do is I will mark the ends. Okay, and so what that is, is for the cuts. So I will bend the piece of cardboard at the half mark, just to kind of score it, and then cut a small incision, just so that it creates the flaps. Okay, so we've got that. So now we will attach it to our piece. Hopefully I have enough tape here. We should have another tape. Just in case there is. Alright. So I've got a painting here that I'm already putting the corners on. So we will put the corner on that I just cut. So I'm going to move this over a little bit and show you how to do this. So it's going to go like this. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let me move this up. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Um, so this is going to go over the corner like this so that the bend is here. And then you simply mold this over the corner and we're going to tape it down. So, pull out of our tape, doo -doo -doo -doo. and for now, I'm just going to tack it down, and then I'll go back over it once it's firmly in place. So we've got that there. We'll take another piece. No, it's starting to lose it a little bit. So let me put that back, and we're going to really tighten that down and keep that over the corner. And then what we're gonna do is, you might have to tear these a little bit, but we're gonna bend these over and we're gonna tape those in place. So we're gonna hold that and we will put that uh, corner on. I guess I could have tore my piece in advance. Uh, but we'll pull that back and we'll tape that in place. We'll pull this one back. Does not have to be complicated. I, mean, I honestly don't think that cardboard corners do a whole lot anyway, but some websites and services request that you use them, so I can. All right, so I'm gonna pull that over and we're gonna tape that in place. And we'll go ahead and do this one one more time just to make sure it's on there. Kind of overlap and it's good to go. So now you've got your little cardboard corner. All right, just to show you one more time, four inches. All right, so we're going to bring that here so we know to cut it. I put that there. It does not have to be exact. Two inches is where we're going to fold. Two inches. Two inches. So now we'll cut it. Let's see, can you see that? I don't know. Okay. So we've got that. Cut. There it is. And we've got a piece on here. Hold up. Boom. 
at the edges. Cool. Golden. And golden. Okay. So, so the only edge I have not done. Hopefully you can see that. Perfect. So we'll put that bad boy on there. It's going to go there. So we will curl it down. Is it, is it in place? Yes. Okay, so let's Okay, good there. Okay, now I'll fold it. Gonna tear that cardboard a little bit, that's fine. Okay, and then we will fold it back. Good. Okay, so now it's on there. Can you see it? All right, now we're gonna tape it one more time just to make sure that we're good. Good. And good. That's it, guys. See ya.